Hello, my name is Ganon Pounder. I'm a senior field application engineer at Tektronix. Today I'm going to show you how to perform return loss testing for Gigabit Ethernet using an MSO68B oscilloscope and an AFG31102 arbitrary function generator. To run the Ethernet return loss test for Gigabit Ethernet, we first need to start the return loss program. So first under applications, we choose Tech Express Ethernet. That will start up. Once it is running, we make sure we choose the Gigabit Ethernet choice. Under tech se test selection, we will choose return loss test, transmitter return loss test. And then under configuration, we need to touch NES because we need to calibrate the system. We do that by clicking here. I have here is my return loss calibration connections. My AFG is connected to the MSO68B in this case with a USB 2 cable in the back. We also have channel 1 connected here, channel 2 connected here, the output of the trigger connected to channel 3 of the oscilloscope which is different than some of the pictures you might see. It might have it on the aux trigger. And channel 1 here, channel 2 there. And then my short is connected first. I'll do short, open, and load in that order. So to perform the return loss calibration in my Tech Express Ethernet setup, I click return loss. Now the calibration is complete. We will continue for the open and the load. Now that you've completed your return loss calibration, it's time to perform the actual test. To do the test, make sure all the connections that you had previously are maintained. With one exception, you'll want to connect the output of your device under test to the test board at the same point that we previously had connected the calibration fixture with the short open and load calibration parts to it. Also, you want to make sure that your device is sending test mode 4 or the, um, the return loss uh, test pattern. So I'll do that here now. The return loss test pattern is set up by the device um, you'll need to contact your device vendor or your software engineers to make sure that you're able to send the proper test patterns out of your to, uh, out of your port. Once you've done that, you've got your test modes selected. Uh, go ahead and just start the test. And it, the test will run. We'll get things set up, get to a point where it tells you to send the proper patterns in your connections here. Go ahead and push continue. And now the test will run automatically. Now it's doing all the calculations. Now the test is complete. Here we have a pass. We can look at the report that is generated and it will give you the return loss curves for that particular return loss test. Thank you for watching this video on return loss testing. I hope that it helps you get started.